Again, Vantage and Practical Update. These days, Chaos Group is very active and provides good updates for its products, especially Vantage, which is becoming more complete day by day and helps us to reach a better output at a higher speed. In this video, we discuss the new features of version 2.4. In the meantime, support for decal is the most attractive added feature. In this video, we will get to know all its parameters, especially decal. Stay with us so you don't miss out on new features. Hello, welcome to MIMVIS. You must know that decal can add an image to any surface with the help of opacity in the fastest time, and it can also have any material. In this scene, we have a car in a studio space with a number of decals added to it in V-Ray. The good news is that you can create the decal in Vantage and also import it from V-Ray. Let's create a decal first. To create it, we click on the desired option from the toolbar so that a new window opens for us. Of course, we must first select the material from the list of materials and then we can create it on any surface. In the opened window, you can access settings such as mode, rotation, and step for rotation and size. For faster adjustment, you can use the shortcut Alt plus scroll to change the size and Ctrl plus scroll to rotate. We can see that changes are made according to the step. The snap option can create the decal stepwise based on the number. The next option can specify whether the decal is created on one object or on all objects that interfere with each other. I animated this car and imported it into Vantage. The issue is that the decals we import still cannot be imported with animation. But if we make the decal in Vantage, it can be linked to the desired object with the help of Parent to Target. We see that the decal moves with the car. If this option is off, animation will not take place. After creating it in the Object tab, we can access more settings. In the first tab, we can change its dimensions, specify a mask for it, or invert it. In the Projection tab, we can set the Depth, Bend, and Normal Angle. In the last tab, 
we can access the list on which the decal is applied. The order option works when two decals are on top of each other and you specify the priority of being shown for them with the help of this option. So this option determines the importance of the decal compared to the others. The use only decal bump option specifies whether the bottom material bump is specified or not. Now we select one of the decals we entered and we see that they are completely editable. Of course, there is this problem that it cannot be animated at the moment, which will probably be solved soon. Also, to find decals more easily, you can search the word decal in the outliner. From this version, if texturing of your object is done with UDIM system, you can easily use it in Vantage. If I want to give a brief explanation, this word stands for U-Dimension and it means that each tile has its own different texture in the overall texture of UDIM. Basically, each tile consists of its own UV space and has its own texture. Well, let's go to the next feature. Add the main camera to the bottom bar and add another camera. You can see that first, the animation of the scene is executed and then the transition. From now on, you can control the time of staying in the frame and the level of their interference by right-clicking and selecting Set Range. This feature is very useful for cases where our cameras are animated, like when we shake hands. In this section, we can mention the addition of white balance. Also, from this version, the item's exposure, filmic, white balance, hue and saturation, color balance, LUT, that we have added in the frame buffer, will be transferred to Vintage via VR Scene. Other minor items have been added that you can see in this list. For more information about the new features, you can visit the Chaos Group website. In general, the most attractive added heart was related to the decal, which we could both import and create. With the help of this feature, you can do a lot of creative work and quickly reach the output. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for sharing your opinions with us and helping us produce better videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye until the next tutorial.